For today's lesson, we are going to talk about Ohm's Law. When we say Ohm's Law, it's basically the most important law in understanding the concept of electricity. But what really is the purpose of Ohm's Law? Well, Ohm's Law shows the interrelationship among voltage, electric current, and resistance. As we all know, voltage, electric current, and resistance are the three important quantities in the field of electricity. And according to this law, these three quantities are interconnected. The proponent of this law is George Ohm. And for us to understand more about the concept of this law, let us first identify the symbols and the units that we should use in solving for these three quantities. First, let's talk about voltage. Voltage is represented by capital letter V and its unit is also capital letter V which means volts. We also have here the electric current. Electric current is represented by capital letter I and its unit is represented by capital letter A which means ampere. Lastly, we have here the resistance. When we say resistance, it is represented by capital letter R, but its unit is a little different because we're going to use a Greek letter here, which is omega, and it's read as ohms. Before we proceed to the solving, let us first derive the possible formulas that we will be needing during the computation. First, let's derive the equation for electric current. As we all know, electric current is represented by capital letter I. So in this triangle, we are going to erase I. And you will have V over R. Therefore, the formula for electric current is I is equal to V over R or voltage over resistance. For our second triangle, this is for voltage. So we are going to remove voltage out of the triangle and you will have I times R. Basically, that's your formula. V is equal to I times R or V is equal to electric current times resistance. On the other hand, we also have here V I R in the triangle. Since we are looking for the formula of resistance, we are going to erase resistance from the triangle and that will give you R is equal to V over I or voltage over electric current. Let's solve our first problem. If the resistance in the wire is 200 ohms and the voltage is 110 volts, how much is the current flowing in the wire? First, we are going to identify the given values because that would help us identify the formula that we're going to use. You have here 200 ohms and 110 volts. These given values are basically 200 ohms is your resistance and 110 volts is your voltage. So what we are looking for here is the current or the electric current. So electric current is unknown. So we are going to solve for electric current. If you're going to recall the formula for electric current, that is I is equal to voltage over resistance. So for our solution, we can just directly substitute the given values. I is equal to V over R and that will be I is equal to your V is 110 volts and your resistance is 200 ohms and that will give you 110 divided by 200 you will get 0 0.55 ampere and that is the amount of current 
flowing in the wire. For our next problem, it says here, find the current through a wire with a resistance of 2 ohms while the voltage is 6 volts. Again, the first thing that you're going to do is to write or list down the given values. You have here 6 volts and you have there 2 ohms. Obviously, 6 volts is your voltage and your 2 ohms is your resistance. So like our first problem, what we are looking for here is basically the electric current that is unknown. So the formula that we will use will be I is equal to V over R. And for your solution, that will be I is equal to V over R. Then directly substitute the given values that will give you V is 6 volts over resistance is 2 ohms. For I, 6 divided by 2, that will give you 3 and the unit is ampere. Therefore, the amount of current flowing through that wire is 3 amperes. For our next problem, a source of 8.0 volts is connected to a light bulb. An electric current of 2.0 ampere flows through it. Solve for the missing value. What is the missing value here? First, let us identify the given values. We have 8.0 volts and you have 2.0 ampere. Basically, 8.0 volts is your voltage while the other given value is your electric current because it's expressed in ampere. So the missing value here is the value of resistance. So that is unknown. If we're going to recall our formula, the formula for this will be R is equal to V over I or resistance is equal to voltage over electric current. For our solution, we can just directly substitute the given values that is R is equal to V over I or your V is 8.0 volts all over 2.0 ampere and 8 divided by 2 it will give you 4 and the unit for that is ohms since we are looking for resistance next a small light bulb is connected to a 6 volt battery and draws 2 amperes of current what is the resistance of the bulb first again write down the given values that's 6 volts and 2 amperes 6 volts that is your voltage and 2 amperes that's your electric current and we are looking for the resistance of that bulb so basically R is unknown so R like earlier that's equal to V over I and for your solution just substitute the given values R is equal to V over I V is 6 volts all over 2 amperes and that will give you 3 ohms for our last problem, a motor with an operating resistance of 32 ohms is connected to a voltage source. The current in the circuit is 1.5 ampere. What is the voltage of the source? First, let us identify the given values. You have their 32 ohms and 1.5 ampere. 32 ohms is basically your resistance and 1.5 ampere. That is your electric current. What we are looking for here is the voltage. So V or voltage is unknown. If we are going to recall our equation for voltage, that is V is equal to I times R, or voltage is equal to electric current time resistance. So if you are going to solve for that, can just directly substitute the given values also. 
V is equal to I times R and V is equal to your I is 1.5 times your R is 32 ohms. So 1.5 times 32 that will give you 48 volts.